the show with Pink and Main. Thanks so much for joining me today. It's time for our April new product release reveal, and I couldn't be more excited. I've got a huge pile of fun goodies to go through with you, and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. First, we have some glitter enamel dots. These are called Cloudy Day. So we've got everything from grays and purples, blue and teal, to that ray of sunshine, yellow and orange, and they've got glitter in them, and they're so super sparkly. These are in our Crafty Courtyard kit for the month, but if you need some extras or perhaps you don't get the kit, you might want to pick these up. Our incentive set this month is the April Pup. So he is super cute. Got his rain boots on and his rain hat and he's splashing in the puddles. It says, do more things that make your tail wag. We've got some raindrops and some more rubber boots. It is super adorable. We've got coordinating dies. So you can buy this separately or if you spend $50, you'll get the stamp set for free. And if you spend 75, you'll get the coordinating dies. And that's just for one week during the release. So from the 21st through the next Friday or while supplies last, those will automatically be added to your cart. So you do not have to add them to the cart. If you have a qualifying order, you'll see them pop into your cart for free. Our next stamp set is called The Buzz. Now this should look familiar. This is our stamp of the month. So if you're a Stamp of the Month subscriber or Stamp and Die of the Month subscriber, you should have already received this set. But now if you're not a subscriber, you can buy it individually and you can also get the coordinating dies. Super cute bugs in there. I love adding our Stardust Chunky Glitter to the wings. It just makes them so shiny and sparkly. So this set is now available. We have another four by six stamp set. This is called Sweet Posies. So we've got some nice solid stamps here, some flowers, some hearts. We've got stars, we've got leaves for the flowers. Some great sentiments. It's been too long. I've missed you terribly. Hope your day is great. You've been on my mind. Thanks for being you. Better days are ahead. Let's get together. Thank you so much and sending you smiles. So we also have the coordinating dies available for that set. And I've also given you two sentiment strip dies with this so that you can cut those sentiments out. That stamp set coordinates really well with a die that's coming up in just a bit. I apologize, I did not get a chance to color these adorable images this month. I usually try to color all the images. It takes me days to color them. And I just didn't get a chance, I'm sorry but we'll be making cards with them soon, hopefully, and we'll show those. This is called Hap B, like happy, but Hap B. We've got Hap B birthday. Thank you very much. Hey, honey, you're as sweet as can be. And these adorable little bears, some of them are dressed as bees. They have honey, they have honey pots. One is in a honey pot there, dripping in honey. We've got some with flowers with little bees around them. You've got some little bees. This is super cute set if you like bears, bees, or both. We also have coordinating dies available for this set. Our next four by six stamp set is called You're on a Roll. And these super adorable bears are just scooting by on a scooter. One's on a bicycle here. One's got its roller skates on. We've got a little puppy dog that can run along next to them or behind them. And the, the little basket on the bike, you can have the little dog peeking out of the basket. We've got some butterflies, a heart balloon. You could put the bow or the hat on them. We've got some flowers that you can also put on the basket. And the sentiment, scooting by to say hi, happy birthday, you're on a roll, hello friend. And we have coordinating dies for this set as well. I'm seeing mushrooms everywhere. And we have this set, it's called Mush Love, or Mush, Mush Love, like much love. We've got some super cute little mushroom guys. We have this little girl and she has a mushroom top on her head with some little flowers. You can create scenes. We've got some other little mushrooms. This set is illustrated and hand lettered by Mommy Lay Designs. Super cute. I love these sentiments. Sending smiles, hello and hi. 
And then we have, I have mush love for you. Thank you so much. We also have coordinating dies for this set and the dies will also cut out the sentiments on this one. Our next set is a six by six stamp set. This was illustrated by Heidi at Too Cute Ink. And this one is called Pixie Dust and it has some of the sweetest little fairies. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They've got a mushroom house, a big flower, we've got some clouds. And the sentiments say, all you need is faith and a little pixie dust. Thank you very much and wishing you well. Isn't that sweet? And we have coordinating dyes to go with this set as well. After winter, we're all ready for a little warm sunshine, aren't we? This set is called Sunshine Days. It's a six by six stamp set and it couldn't be more happy. We've got sun and clouds. We've got some butterflies, flowers, hearts. We've got cute little girl here. She's got butterflies on her hands. We have a little bear holding up a daisy above her. This little girl here is dancing with the daisies. So much fun. The sentiments are hand lettered. This all illustrated by Mommy Lay Designs. We've got sunshine and smiles just buzzing by. I am here for you. Thank you. You are special to me and grateful heart. This is just a super fun spring and summer set and we have coordinating dies for it too. This next set is one of my favorites. This is called Chicken In, Just Chicken In. <laughs> We've got some great chickens and hens here. Look at them on the fence and the one is backwards with her head peeking around, looking back. So cute, there's one in every bunch, isn't there? We've got these little sassy ones up here. This one with the rollers and the bunny slippers and the coffee mug. Oh my goodness. And here we've got a mama reading a book with the teddy bear and the little eggs. These are so stinking sweet. The sentiment says, you can have the worms. I just want my coffee. Happy bird day. Best of cluck. You are one cool chick. Congratulations on your hatchling. Have an excellent day. I'm so excited for you. Just chicken in on you. Don't get your feathers ruffled. This too shall pass. Super fun set that we have coordinating dies available for as well. All right, so this month we have a new emboss and cut folder. And this one is called Spring Flowers. So these three flowers, the centers of the flowers and the leaves, you run it through one pass through in your die cut machine and you get the flowers, leaves, and the centers all cut out, but they'll also be embossed, like with the veins of the flowers and the leaves. And there's little dots in the centers to make them nice and dimensional. So this is super fun to work with. You can layer these flowers on top of each other to get a layered flower, or you can use them individually. We've got centers for all the sizes, as well as leaves. I can't wait to see what you create with this emboss and cut folder. We also have a six by six embossing folder. It's called Cloudy Day, and it's just a super fun background of clouds. You can use this on so many cards, so many occasions. It's a great background. Okay, so our first new stencil is called Rectangle Patterns. And you've got four different pattern sets that are in a rectangle and it fits perfectly in your A2 size card. You can just put it in the center, ink blend over that, and you've got a nice subtle background right in the center of your card. Or you can do lots of different things. You could put this over die cuts and put patterns on your die cuts. It's just a great versatile stencil with different patterns. We have our new cloudy day stencil. So all our stencils now come with the two holes so they fit in our storage binder perfectly. You don't have to keep them in the binder, but it's a nice way to store the stencils. And this has a cloudy border around all three edges here and then different clouds on the inside. So you can create all kinds of different cloudy or bumpy backgrounds. We have got some super fun dies in this release. This one is called the Layered Scallops Circle Dies, and it creates two sizes of these layered scallops. And what you do is you take the large one here and you cut it out in two different colors. 
and then you just alternate them. So you get a scalloped border that has alternating colors going around it. I can show you a sample here on the back of the package. See how you can get two different colors. It creates such a super fun piece for your cards. Also have given you the stitch circles that will fit right inside the scallops. And we've given you two sentiment pieces. So you can cut the sentiments out and use them, like use the letters on something, or you could lay them over a circle or any shape and cut them out and use the negative. We also have the layered scallop A2 rectangle dies. So this largest one will fit right inside an A2 size card. And I also have given you a smaller set as well. I've given you the two sizes of stitched rectangles that will fit over the scallops perfectly. We've got this nice big die cut of the word high, which is super fun. I've been playing around with that some. And then we've got there and friend. So you could say hi friend or hi there. And those are in a nice script font. We've got a couple of hearts you can embellish your cards with. So here on the back of the package is an example of something you could do. But look at those alternating colors on those scallops. It just creates that super fun, multicolored border around the edge of your card. And there's that big high cutout. So you can see that if that's on an A2 size card, how big that's gonna be. It's a nice, bold sentiment. I love that. And then you've got the little script font friend or the word there. So you can say hi there. It's a really fun die set. Speaking of fun die sets, this is our envelope pop-up card die. It's huge. I can't get it all in the screen all at once. It is huge and I have given you tons of pieces to go along with this. So with these dies, you can create a little card that's in the shape of an envelope that kind of pops open. It's three-dimensional, but it fits inside an A2 size envelope when folded closed. I'll show you the little example that's on the back, and I have a couple example cards to show you. But we have all kinds of flowers, stars, hearts. We have a couple of butterflies, some different leaves. We have a little sheet of, it looks like a small piece of notebook paper that you can cut out. We have two sentiments, get well soon or hello friend. We have a bow, we have a sentiment strip, we have a little tag here. So we've just given you tons of dies so that you can just let your creativity flow and create all kinds of envelope pop-up cards or use all the decorative dies in other projects as well. So here is one of the envelope pop-up cards that I created. You see it folds flat to fit in an envelope, but I've just embellished with some flowers. I stamped the sentiment from the Sweet Posies stamp set. It coordinates great with this because the flowers and the hearts and the stars are the same as what's in that die. Here's that little notebook paper. I've used the rectangle pattern stencil to ink blend those yellow stripes on the paper just to give it that little extra look. And I've used the Get Well Soon die and some butterflies. It's just super fun. You also get the layering dies so that you could use pattern paper to layer on your envelope pop-up cards. Here's another one where I've used stars. I made this look a little more masculine. I've used another sentiment from that Sweet Posy stamp set. And with that rectangle pattern stencil, I also did some polka dots on that little notebook paper piece there. Just super cute card. Totally different look than the one with the flowers. So you can see how you can get a ton of variety with just one set of dies. And this card was made by one of our design team members and she's got more patterned paper, but look at those beautiful white flowers with a little ink blending on the edges with the gold centers. She put the bow in the center. You can just get so many different looks with this set of dies. We have new foilables this month. Have you tried our pink mink machine and our foilables and our cheer foils yet? I have been foiling just about everything. I'm loving it. I love the look. 
and it's such an easy and fun process. So our new foilables, we have repeating leaves. So this is a great little leaf pattern. It would look great with those bugs in the buzz set or with those fairies. We have petite flowers. So just some little flowers with leaves. That's a lovely little pattern there that you could foil. Again, it would look great with the fairies, with the bugs, with any of the little stamp sets we released this month. This one is called Splashes. Just looks like splashes all over the page. This one is called Geo Patterns, and there's actually four geometric designs in this one, so you get two of each. And each of our foilable sets here, you get eight sheets. So you see the back shows a different one, but there's four different patterns in the Geo Patterns, and these are great backgrounds for just about anything. You put like a subtle geometric pattern, in the background of your card and you can put almost anything on the top of it. And I am seeing rattan patterns everywhere. So I said, oh, I gotta do a foilable. This is our rattan foilables. So that makes a great background as well. We have some new colored toner sheets. This is called the garden toner sheets. We have the rainbow ones. So you've got your basic rainbow colors, just bright, bold rainbow colors. This one has more subtle tones, and I called them garden because they remind me of flowers and foliage you might see in your garden. We've got pink, a couple of greens, a couple of wine and lavender colors, light orange, more of a peachy orange, and then a beautiful sky blue. So just some really pretty colored toner sheets. And if you're not familiar with the colored toner sheets, these are great for using the negative piece of foil. I'm so excited about these next couple of products. These have been in development for a very long time and I'm so excited they're here. And we've been playing around with them here in the office for a bit and we are loving them. These are water gems, sparkling watercolors. So you get 12 colors. They're absolutely gorgeous and they have sparkle to them. They're highly pigmented watercolor powders. There's so many different techniques you can use these with. You can watercolor with them, you can sprinkle them on the paper and then spritz your paper with water and you get these beautiful patterns that emerge. These are so much fun. And we have a video coming out soon and we're gonna show you some techniques and ways that you can use these and we'll show you the color swatches of what they look like when they are swatched out on the paper. We also have our Easy Flow water brushes. I try to come out with tools for your craft room that are super easy to use. Easy on your hands. I have very weak hands, so I sometimes have a hard time squeezing things or using certain tools for a long period of time. So I found these water brushes. They have a little button here that says push on the side and it's a super easy squeeze button that allows you to push water through to the brush end. There are six different brush tips. So they go from flat wide brush tips down to very thin tapered brush. And it's a super great value as well. For the first 50 people that order the Water Gem Sparkling Watercolors, we're gonna give you this little helpful tool set. You get a palette that has six wells. You're gonna get a little fan brush. And the fan brush is how you can grab some of those pigments out of the jar and tap them onto your paper. You're gonna get a little spray mister bottle here. So you fill this with water and you can spritz the water onto your paper. This is a nice thin little travel size bottle. So it's great to have around on your craft desk. Doesn't take up too much space. And you're gonna get a little handful of these little baby spoons. It's another way you can dip out the watercolor pigments and add them to your paper or add them to your palette. So the first 50 people that order the Water Gems watercolors, you'll get this little tool set and it will add to your cart automatically. So if it doesn't add to your cart, then you know we've sold through them. If we get enough requests for more, this might be something that we will add for sale later. I just thought it would be fun to put together a little toolkit for those first group of people that want the water gems. 
I'll quickly show you a couple of cards that Volley that works here in our office that she put together. She used our happy birthday die set and she's got this beautiful background using those water gems. The black paper that she cut the shadow for the happy birthday dies. I don't know if it picks up on the camera, but she's used the white water gems and they're kind of pearlescent white. So you can see the shimmer on the black paper there. Super pretty card. And then here on the other side, she's got a different one. Every single card you'd make with the water gems is going to be different and it's going to be beautiful. It has a shimmer to it. And they're just a lot of fun to create with. And last but certainly not least, whew, I told you we had a lot in this release. We have four new embossing powders. If you have not tried our embossing powders, I've got to tell you, you've got to try them. Just go take a look on our website at the embossing powder category. As you scroll through, just take a look at those colors, the glitters that are in them. Our embossing powders are high quality embossing powders that are manufactured in the U.S. We take different colors of powders and different glitters and we make our own mixes here in-house. We put a lot of love and thought into our embossing powders. You'll find colors that you just can't find anywhere else as you scroll through our embossing powder category. So we kind of created these colors. We call them like our whimsical forest colors. Uh, we were thinking of the fairies and the bugs that we were releasing this month. The first one is caramel latte. It's a beautiful caramel color with gold, that caramel-like glitter that's inside of it, super sparkle and shiny, but just that beautiful caramel color. Next, we have Red Fox. This is a beautiful brick red color with iridescent glitter inside. So it shines and sparkles different colors, anywhere from yellows, greens, oranges. They all blend together really nicely to give just a really pretty brick red sparkly color. So we called it Red Fox. The next one we called Coffee Talk. And Coffee Talk was really hard to photograph. It looks almost black on the website, but it's a deep, deep espresso kind of brown. And it's got beautiful flecks of gold and brown and copper glitters inside. It's really pretty. And next is sea foam. And just like the name, it's a beautiful sea foam green, almost a little sage-like, but it's got coordinating glitters inside and it's super, sparkly and gorgeous. So that's it, my friends. That's our April release. I know it's a lot, but it's a lot of fun stuff. I hope you enjoyed taking this closer look at it all. I can't wait to see what you guys start creating with these items. Be sure to look for and join our Facebook group where you can share your creations using our products, and you can also get inspiration from others who are sharing theirs. You can find these products and more at pinkandmain.com or ask your local retailer. Until next time, my friends, keep living the creative life.